Are you not jealous of this shirt that I have right now? No. Tell me you're not jealous of this shirt that I have right now because I love it so much. Uh, hi everybody. Uh, I'm really, really happy to be back and I'm really happy to have this nice setup again because it really, really, it's, it helps a lot with the feel of the show, I think. Um, the channel. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of job searching lately. I recently graduated, I don't know if I can say recently anymore because it's been like two, three months. But I'm still job searching. It's not very fun. I thought that it would be fun to share tips that um, we all have about finding uh, finding jobs. But I wanted to put it in, you know, I wanted to put it in my perspective. I, I wanted to put it in my perspective. I don't want to do, I didn't want to do a video that's just like, Make sure that your resume is spelled correctly. Make sure that you use action words at the beginning of each each of your bullets. Make sure that you have your phone number and your address on your res on your resume. Make sure that you work hard on your cover letter. Um, I didn't want to do anything generic like that, so I I thought I would put it in a in geeks terms. I think you could say. Okay, so I have five tips, and I have them on my computer here. So let's get started. Okay, so. The first one that I have is to look at companies that are a part of your life. Um, you know, I think a lot of people, they just look for companies that are well known and everybody knows pays well and gives you free food. Um, you're going to realize very soon if you manage to get that job that it's not going to be very fulfilling if you don't actually are interested in the company. Um, I, I find it amazing when people uh, aren't interested in a company but they manage to at least put on the act <laughs> that they really really like what the company does. And this is coming from somebody that acts. Um, also, the fact that you don't have your heart into it, that, that just makes it harder to even get the job, to even convey um, to the to the company why you are a good fit for them. If you don't have any interest in what they do and you don't um, naturally know anything about what they do, you're probably not gonna get it very far, as I've learned. Video games and, and the internet are a very big part of my life. And so, you know, I've, I've taken a look at Tumblr, I've taken a look at, at Etsy, I've taken a look at um, Polaris or Maker Studios. Um, I've taken a look at Valve, I've taken a look at Tumblr, Bioware, um, the, just the Discovery Network because, you know, they have a bunch of YouTube channels under Rev3, like, um, like Rev3 Games, and, um, they have Rev3 Rev Games, SourceFed, um, The Animalist, uh, Loot Crate, IGN, um, CBS Interactive because they own, uh, GameSpot, um, and, you know, clothing stores that I shop at, uh, you know, stuff, stuff that is, that are part of your life, you know what I mean? Oh, I have a, no I have a note here saying, um, try not to whore yourself out. By that, I mean, don't, uh, don't look up a company that you don't know and convince yourself that you like them and that, and that they'll like you. Okay, number two is write cover letters well. I hate them too, but I always refer to Nika for inspiration and it helps. By Nika, I mean Nika Harper if you don't know who she is. Um, I love her very much. Uh, I hope to meet her one day because I think we can be bestest friends. Here? I'll leave a link here. Uh, it's, it's a really, really great video. Um, you know, she, she breaks it down really, really well and she makes such a great, um, she makes such a great comparison in which your resume is your stat sheet and your uh, cover letter is supposed to be your lore. Number three, do your research on the company and your interviewer. If you know the company, this should be easy. I like imagining it as espionage work. I like being in the know at all. <clears throat> oh, I like being the know at all in... Oh, I like being the know at all like they are in the animes. That being, that being said, um, don't use don't start creating opportunities for yourself to just spew out knowledge that you have. This isn't this isn't a test. This isn't you know high school. You you need to know just when is the perfect time to go in for the kill and show them that you've done your research. Um, don't do it like every. Don't be like the presidential debates and like 
acknowledge the question and then talk about something that you want to talk about, <laughs> you know? Um, don't, don't be like, oh yes, um, you know, I, my background history is this, and I know that your company was conceived in this year. Don't do that. Um, make, make sure that it makes sense. Um, so, uh, my fourth tip has to do with the in-person interview, which, uh, I'm sure that you'll get eventually. Um, yeah, so you've done all of this work, you, you're, ha you have the in-person in interview, you have the time set up, and you, they've given, they've hopefully given you the address. Um, if they didn't, obviously you have to ask them. Um, so... My biggest recommendation that I think a lot of people surprisingly don't do is to use Google Maps. Use use Google Maps. Um, by that I mean know what the building looks like, know what the street looks like, and know um, and look for parking spaces. Google Maps is it's really an amazing feat um, that I don't I don't think a lot of people stop to realize. You know, you can literally have an in-person view on the street and basically just scout out the entire area. You can figure out what the area looks like to make sure that you're, you know, that you're in the right place. You can see what the building looks like so you don't have to um, waste waste time looking for it and scram, you know, and possibly be late for your interview once you get it, you know, within the vicinity. And you can look for parking parking spaces, you know, around the that are near the building. So that way you don't even have to like worry about driving around looking for parking space. It's really really amazing it'll save you a lot of time and a lot of stress when you actually get there um you know most most likely your interview is going to take you to somewhere you know that you're probably unfamiliar that you're probably unfamiliar with and so it probably and numbers on buildings can be really really hard to find guys i don't know if you realize that numbers on buildings can sometimes be hide by trees sometimes they're not even there um i think just do as much research as you can um, to figure out where you're supposed to go and and how you're going to um, and yeah where you're gonna park because in certain areas like LA parking is very very trying sometimes I, I have a lot of I try to have a lot of fun with it because it feels like I'm doing like espionage work because you know they don't know that I'm doing the research but I but I have the information. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but I, I I just like it because I feel like I'm a, I'm like scouting out the place, you know, without having to actually drive there. Yeah. Anyways, number number five is dealing with rejection. You're gonna get your fair share of of, of rejection for for whatever reason. You you might have nailed everything down pat, but you know there there can always be a reason for people to say no. Uh, and it's a very, very sad, sad fact. I, I thought I did very well on quite a few interviews, but, um, you know, they ended up picking somebody else. But I think it's important, but my, uh, fifth tip is, in dealing with rejection, is to know that, accept, is to, not know that, but the important thing is to accept that it may, it wasn't meant to be. Anybody that couldn't see how special and awesome you were, they're, they're, they're not for you. I like to think of it as a relationship in which, you know, okay, finding a job is basically like a relationship, right? You know, you you have to flirt, you flirt with the company, you try your best to make them like you, but if they're not interested, then they're not they're, they're not interested. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, I wonder what would happen if dating actually happened with resumes and cover letters. That would be a very sad day. It's already happening with online dating, though. I've seen enough on OkCupid. Okay Please sh share with me your tips too. I could definitely use them because I don't have a job yet. Um, I'm, I'm in the works of, of interviews though. But um, anyways, um, I hope that this helps. Um, if you are job searching right now or internship searching right now, I wish you the best of luck. Um, I definitely need it too. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye!